Hey guys, welcome to the EV3 programming channel. My name is ML, and today I'll be going through the basics for the Lego Mindstorms EV3 programming. So, first things first, oh, there's an update available for your software. I'm gonna go through the very, very basics of the manners. Okay, so before we get into programming, there are a couple of things that you can view over here. If you're wondering how I'm scrolling it, I'm scrolling it through my middle mouse scroll wheel button. So there's an option for model expansion set. Of course, you can view the instructions, etc. So for a specific quick start, there's a user guide programming, overview, data logging, and content editor. Okay, so obviously we are not going to all of those today. We will just go into a new project. So you can also access that over here by clicking a new project. Either choose program or experiment. Or you can click that to add project. Alright, so it's loading. So first things first, I'm going to be explaining everything here, which I'm not sure what they are called, but I'm going to call them tools just for the sake of this video. Okay, so this thing is called the content editor. Obviously, you can choose to close it if you want. And if you want to open it back, just browse it there and click open content editor. So there's an edit mode, which if you click, then you can access a more advanced function over here and this is the view mode obviously this thing allows you to add text image video sound or even a webcam if you want to record something okay i will go through that next time <coughs> so over here at the tools we have the select and pan so the select allows you to drag icons around for example, if I were to select the media motto, and if I were to put it here, I'm able to drag it around all across the white areas. So if I select pan, I'm not able to drag it around, but I can do this. I can move the entire screen around. So that function is extremely useful if you have a very long program. So let's say, so you can't drag icons in that mode. I need to change back to select. So for example, if you have a very long program, so you might want to use pen. It helps you to move the screen quicker. Alright, so next thing is called the comment. So this thing enables you to add comments to a specific block so to access to use it you just need to double click and then you can type things for example I can briefly explain what this block does so same goes for each and every block so save project basically means that it allows me to save the project and undo and redo are probably the most useful tool of all so if you ever encounter a situation where you build a very long program you know imagine this thing is like um, 100 icons away 100 blocks away so let's say if you accidentally deleted something and you don't know what happened so you can always undo it okay so redo is to redo back the function that you undo and last but not least we have the zoom out and zoom in function so these are extremely useful if you need to zoom in closer or if you need to zoom out if you have a very very long program and there's a reset zoom function over here. So 
reset everything back to the original aspect ratio. Okay guys, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna stop the video. See you guys in the next one.